Today we are going to be showing you how to bring back to life your calipers by turning them from this to this. We're going to show you everything you need, how you can do it yourself easily and cheaply, as well as how to change your brake discs at the same time. And finally, at the end of the video, we will show you other people's reactions to the transformation. Don't go anywhere. Well, what's going on guys, Will, and today we are back with a new video and we're back doing something to the car. It's a bit bright out, so we're luckily we're in a bit of shade over here. We're going to be changing the brake discs on my car because they need doing desperately. And we're also going to be painting the calipers as well. So we'll show you guys how to do that as well. So stay tuned. Firstly, we've got our P Hell car again. Uh, we're jacking up the car now and we'll start on this one here. And we'll go all the way around and do the changes. So now that the tyre is off, we need to take off the filthy old caliper and warm brake discs. As you can see here, the caliper was definitely looking a bit worse for wear and needed a bit of rejuvenating to bring it back to life. The brake disc on the other hand has started to get a rusty lip all the way around the outside, so the new brake discs were definitely overdue. I just want to take some time out of the video to say if you do enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps the YouTube algorithm know that you're enjoying this content. Also remember to subscribe and ding dong that notification bell to stay tuned for future uploads. Check out all of my other socials as well I'll leave them on the screen now and in the description box below let's get back into it so as you can see we're going to go for the red calipers i think that looked really nice on the black car so got this one for the high temperature paint uh, we need to clean them all off first that's what this is all for and then these are for the bolts to make sure they don't come undone and some marking tape as well but first we need to change the discs i'm going to try and get more and more hands on today liam's helping me supervise um, but he's going to teach me how to do the discs and then with the spray painting we'll have a go myself and hopefully we can learn for the future as well and hopefully you guys at home will be able to learn as well. So taking off a caliper can be quite daunting, however it's quite easy. Firstly, unscrew two screws from the back of the caliper using standard Torx screwdriver bits. We hit a problem with the last bolt holding the caliper in place which needed a new M spline piece. We didn't have these in our set so we needed to go buy one, but before we could do that, this happened. It's not gone to plan. It's not gone to plan. <laughs> right, it's stopped raining now. We're back at it. We've just been to Halfords to get some tools. Uh, we're now just taking off the stuff again. So we'll get to that and then we'll update you of what's next. So we have taken off. We've literally been running around trying to get these special bolts. Essentially, Essentially, we got some bolts, but we needed some special ones, which Halfords didn't get. So we went and got some, they didn't work, so we went and got a refund, and then we had to go to three different shops to get these special tools. We've got them, we've now got everything off. We've got the old one off. And now what we're doing is we're just cleaning it up, making sure that all of like, the, the shit and stuff that's on there is off. And we can start putting the new ones on, and then we can start spraying the calipers. So the sun's out, it's not raining anymore. We're good to go. Next, we decided to check the brake discs with the correct size and how they looked on the car. To my surprise, they were very easy to install and were just held on by one screw. We did, however, decide to take them back off again to paint the caliper as it made things a hundred times easier. So we made this look all blacker and better. And these, so much more nicer than these. I was like, yeah, I don't even need to do my ones. I think I did need to do them, just a little bit. So there we go, I told you I was getting more hands on, I'm going to keep doing that across the build. What we're going to do now is get the caliper and we're going to start spraying it red. First we need to clean it up, so let's get into that. So the first thing to do once you have your caliper taken apart is to prep the surface by cleaning it. Your caliper will have accumulated a lot of brake dust over time and it's pivotal to get rid of all of that before doing any of the layers of paint. Using some brake cleaner and a wire brush we just wanted to keep filing away at the caliper until we see the natural colour shining through. It doesn't have to be perfect but you want it to be as clean as possible. I kept alternating between the brake cleaner and the wire brush to make things as easy as possible for myself. While I was busy prepping the surfaces of the brake caliper, Liam was busy using my 
masking tape to mask up the parts of the car that couldn't get paint on them. For example, other car parts, screws, and rubber caps. This is also to prevent overspray from ruining the look. Once he had used masking tape to mask up everything, he then proceeded to cover the area with a bin bag to again protect the other parts of the car from getting covered in paint. So we didn't record that one because I was having a go. I'll record it next time. Liam was supervising me, but it looks pretty decent even on the first coat. We're going to do two or three coats. Let's look at this one. Bosh. It's going to look sick already. You can just tell. Right, that's coat one. Done. When spray painting, it's important to apply an even coat to all angles. To do this, use a sweeping motion about 8 to 10 inches away to get the main coat. To hit the more tricky bits, we go a bit closer but using lighter sprays. The key here is to avoid the paint dripping as this will ruin the finish. You can always do another coat if your layers are too thin. After three coats, you can then add your lacquer. This is going to add the shine. So now everything is lacquered, we can put it all together and then just do a few finishing touches. We're going to need to put the bolts back on so we've got some of this so that the bolts don't come off again. So now we have finished spraying the caliper, we needed to put it back together. Starting with the bolts, we are applying a bonding solution called lock thread. The purpose of lock thread is to prevent the bolts from loosening or corroding. This is a vital step in putting back together the caliper as the last thing you want is a bolt coming loose when you're driving. A caliper coming off would be disaster. Before the bolts can be locked into place, we needed to fit the brake disc on. This was an easy step as explained earlier. Once the brake disc was on, we needed to put things back together in reverse order. Starting with securing the brake pad and then tightening the bolts we previously put our lock thread on. After this, we could then put our spring clip back in place and rubber caps back on. And that is the first one done. So what we're doing now is we're just putting everything back together on this one. We've pumped the brakes, making sure the brakes are not too tight but not too loose as well. Done all that. Now it's time to put the tire back on and move on to the next one. We have now put it all on and it looks 10 times better. This is what the new looks like. This is what the old looks like. Now that we've done one side, we're going to do these two. Get them off in quick succession. Let's get to it. So now that we have one completed, we just needed to repeat the process on all four calipers. By the time we had gotten all of the tools and the first one finished, a few hours had already passed. This meant we were against the sun to get all four completed by nightfall. Therefore, we decided to tackle two calipers at once. You already know how to do it, so let's roll a montage. Bit dark, so we'll get your torch out. But it's looking meaty. We're doing these two birds in one stone, so both of these should be done fairly soon. So I know it's dark, but I've just mask and taped these rubber bits up just so they don't get spray painted. And then putting that one back together. I've also got all of the brake dust off of the front of this one. The back doesn't move out too much because no one can see it. From this angle, it looks sick. It's taking a little longer than expected. But finally, the last one is ready to go on. But the rest are looking so good. This looks so good. It's pitch black, but nearly done. Like 10 more minutes, I'd say. <laughs> Let's get it. The last coat is done. And this one's going up real nice. Really good on this one. I rate it. So that was the last clip of the night. It took us much longer than expected. We ended up finishing way into nightfall and that was just because we didn't have the correct bolts to take the caliper off to start with. Good old howdy. Even though we finished in the dark, the results were still amazing. Let's check out what people thought of the caliper upgrade and also how they turned out. Roll the clips. It's the next day, motor football. I'm gonna record Andrew's reaction to the new brake discs and the new calipers. Oh, I see it, I see a little bit of it. Yeah. Oh, very nice. There's no rust. 
No rust. No rust. <laughs> Finally. Oh, now we, looks good though. Now we just need to get the alloys sorted and it will look clean. That looks good. Look at the front one, the front one's bigger. That looks, oh yeah, that looks nice that. Ooh. Happy? Lovely. I mean, it's not my car, but I am. Happy I spent all day doing it? No. <laughs> And that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, please leave a like and comment down below. Give me some of that interaction. It really does help us small creators out. Also remember to hit that subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell. And that way you can stay tuned for every single upload in the future. We are on the road to 2K now, so I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. I'll leave a link down below. I'm streaming on there every so often and I'd love to see you guys over there. Before you go anywhere, check out this video. You never know you might have a laugh or even learn something go on what have you got to lose <laughs>